Hi, I'm Carrie Murphy, and welcome back to Inspired Living TV, where we inspire lives and empower entrepreneurs. And today is a topic that I am super excited about because I'm talking about how to choose the right coach for you. Now, as someone who is a coach, I have to say that I always have a coach. When I started this business, I had no intention of actually getting into coaching. I was gonna be doing lots of different things and I have so much fun coaching our clients and really helping them become icons in their industry and make the difference they're here to make. But there's also been some mistakes I've made along the way. And in this world of posturing and new coaches coming up every single minute, I thought it'd be really helpful that if you're looking for a coach to give you some tips on what to look for to make sure that you find someone who is right for you. Now the first tip is to really look at the person in a way that is discerning. So I think with it, when it comes to social media, we can put out any sort of image that we want, right? We can go get professional photos done. We can create a beautiful website. I call it putting lipstick on a pig. There are some pigs out there with some pretty nice lipstick, right? Now, I'm not saying that just because a coach looks polished and has beautiful photos that they're not they're not a real viable coach. I mean, hello, <laughs> I love my branding, right? But is it someone who is posturing, right? Who is, who is looking to make themselves something that they're not quite yet, right? Or is it someone who's just positioned really well? And that's gonna take a little bit of discernment and due diligence on your part to make sure that just because they're putting out great content and great photos and all these great results and great lifestyle, they've chartered the yacht, right? They're off to Maui. Um, just make sure that they are really who they say they are. Because in a world right now where everyone is becoming a coach, which is awesome, it's wonderful that we have a platform where so many people can teach other people their excellence. Um, there's a lot of people out there who are teaching things that aren't congruent as well. So really look, are they posturing or are they just positioned well? Okay. The second tip is to look at, are they selling a map? That comes back to posturing. So I remember hearing this tip from one of my mentors and I loved it, so I wanna share it with you. So what in the world does selling the map mean? Right now, there are some hot buttons we're hearing right now, right? Like how to sell online, how to make six figures in two minutes, right? How to create a seven figure business. These are all great things, right? We wanna make money, we wanna work from people who have figured out the formulas and are doing it right. However, there are a lot of people out there that are using these hot buttons, these keywords, and they've never done it themselves. Now, why is this a problem for you? Because if someone is teaching you how to create a six-figure business and they've never done it, they might get you a certain way down the road, but at some point, I guarantee it, you will reach an obstacle. There's gonna be something that comes up emotionally, in your business, team-wise, and because they've never navigated those waters before, they don't know how to get you over the hump. And a good coach is really great at getting you through tough times and obstacles. So ask yourself, are they selling the map? Find out if they are, or if they've actually reached the result that they promise they're going to help you get. Huge. Now, every great athlete has a coach, right? No matter where you are in your business, whether you're starting out or you're well into seven figures, I cannot recommend having a coach enough. I know for me, when I first started Inspired Living, hiring a coach when I had no idea how I was gonna pay for it, I mean, I'm not kidding. I remember pressing the button and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it. It was the best thing I ever did because where money flows, energy goes, right? So when you invest in yourself, you're able to charge more, your confidence goes up, you learn more. So I have to tell you, if you're thinking about hiring a coach, it can be the best decision that you've ever made. And as you grow with your business, the amount you spend in coaching grows too. I know the coaches I hire now at the level in which I need them charge a lot more than when I started, right? So the next thing to look at is are they proven? You know, we talked about that before. Are they selling the map? Are they getting you results? But check out their testimonials. There's nothing wrong with asking a coach that you're looking at for, you know, some testimonials or referrals. Get on the phone with a couple of their clients. See if they've gotten other people results. You know, online testimonials are great. Um, I personally think video testimonials are better. But just do your due diligence and make sure that they are proven at getting the result that they've, that they've promised you. Again, same thing as kind of selling the map, but this is where you look at testimonials and talk to other clients to see the results they've gotten them. If you've been in my community for any amount of time, you know one of my coined phrases is the P in perfection stands for 
poison. That's right. So when you're looking for a coach, I want you to just look at, are they showing up perfect? Like is everything in their world rainbows and lollipops? Are they always telling you how great they are and how wonderful their results are? But do they ever tell you what's not working, right? Do they ever say, you know what? This, I tried this and this didn't work, or I'm having a rough day. I feel like a great coach is going to share with you things that's worked, things that haven't worked. How you get to where you are is actually by learning from other people's mistakes, right? What has worked for them and what has not worked for them. So be careful of that perfectionism, both on and offline, and do again, do that due diligence. So with all of this, I would love to hear from you. Are you looking to hire a coach? Do you have a coach now? And what made you make the decision to hire them? Please post your comments below because I love to read them. And if you are looking for a coach and there might be a way that myself and the Inspired Living team can serve you, we would absolutely love to talk to you. So just put your info down below or message us, or let's just give you another option. You can email us at hello at inspiredliving.tv and we would love to schedule a call so we can find out if we're a good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you truly the most success you could possibly wish for and that you find the right mentor and coach that will get you there. Until next time, remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. I'll see you soon.